but it wow cool. isn't this house really cool this is in my sister's neighborhood we had to drive past it because we saw these strange things in the front yard pretty cool huh ready for halloween Pulling out of my sister's and uh, in Las Vegas. A lot of speed bumps here. Good morning, YouTubers and RV Rebel Watchers. I'm on the road, and I spend the night here in Lake Havasu in the parking lot by the Planet Fitness. Oops, Danny's getting in the way. But it's funny. I get my door open. Oh. And I'm smelling bacon. <laughs> so. Danny wants to play. You want to play? You want to play. Um. My friend Deborah and I, we signed up for Planet Fitness together, Billy, back in 2018 so we could have a place to shower when we stayed here in Lake Havasu, which we stayed a lot. But many of the places that we stayed and camped at for free, we can't camp at anymore. They've closed them off. There's no camping signs. Things change. Some things must come to an end. just seems like Lake Havasu is not going to be the same anymore for camping because there's a lot of places that you can't go and I love to go into the state trust land and camping out there and that's where we used to go yeah, hang out but I'm sure I'll find a new place to camp here gonna get on the road this morning and um heading to Texas it's over a thousand miles and I want to get there for Lollapalooza so Danny and I have a long way to go So before we hit the road, I'm going to get something to eat. And uh, my my sister told me, you know, try regular, try the turkey bacon. So bacon is like seven, eight dollars for a package of bacon, but you can get turkey bacon for three bucks. So I cut to take my scissors and I cut up into three sections on the package, and I make a section a day. So for three bucks, that's like you know, a buck a day for three days for breakfast. Dollar breakfast. Make me some bacon. Turkey bacon. And it's zero carbs. So if you're on keto and you like bacon, but you want to cut down on the, the other greasy bacon, you want to eat something that's a little bit healthier, try the turkey bacon. I also mix it with a avocado and a little bit of onion and a, some dash of Tabasco. Oh, yum, yum. Love it. So good. So I'm going to go walk Danny while this bacon's cooking, and I'll be back. Okay, here we go. We're getting back on the road. And um, 
sometimes, like I said, I feel like a pilot when I have to, all the things I have to do for my vehicle just to go. I have to stick it into all, I have to, you know, take the brake off, put the lights on, you know, all that good stuff. Hook up my brake controller, which I run with my telephone. I have a Kurt brake controller uh, that I can, so I can use it on any vehicle that I choose. And I can put five, up, up to five profiles in there for five different vehicles. And um, I got my contacts on and this one feels like it's got something in there. Okay, so I have my bacon with me. It's like having chips, you know, while I'm driving. And I'm going to stop and give me a cup of coffee. Turkey bacon. For $3.00. You could almost like cut it all up in little pieces and make the whole thing. Stick in a little baggie or in a little Tupperware. Snacks to go. Snacks on the road. Very cloudy. Here in Lake Havasu. I think there's a Terribles over here, and I can stop and get some gas. I have a half a tank, and if you follow me, you'll know that I don't travel with less than half a tank gas. Especially, now I'm gonna say it again, I know I'm repeating myself for those of you who watch me regularly, but especially because I got stuck on I-75 in Tennessee on Father's Day when my rig broke down. And thank goodness it was 90 degrees. I had enough gas to run my air conditioner until a tow truck could get there to tow my camper. Just waiting to pull out. Okay, so here's Lake Havasu, and there's a lot of area right here you can actually park, and around the lake, up, up in front, you'll see there's a bunch of ATVers out there making, or Razor people making, making dust. Proceed to the route. Here it is. The lighthouse. And actually, you could park here and have a great day. If I wasn't leaving today, I would. But I'm on my way out. There's beautiful Lake Cavasu. 
until I return. Hey everybody. Well, I stopped just for a second here in, I'm just around Tucson, I think. <laughs> It said Tucson signs, but it didn't exactly say. I, I'm off of I-10, and I just stopped to uh, let Danny go for a walk and, and potty and, and get some gas in my in my vehicle um, as I head to Texas for Lollapalooza. But I did want to thank everybody for all of your kind words and condolences uh, and the sweet wishes and, and praises of Deborah Coleman, my friend Deborah our friend, the Nomad Community's friend, uh, Pill Free in our RV, Candle Lady, RV Life. Her first name was Pill Free in my RV when she had first started um, her life as a nomad, free from prescription drugs. And um, Candle Lady, RV Life, it, she believed uh, in the healing of herbs and cannabis and was taking a holistic platform towards healing from her cancer and her other health issues and it was working for her um, on all the other issues and then she got uh, diagnosed with cancer of the colon which she fought really hard and she wanted to live life but she also knew Jesus Christ as her savior and she knew that no matter what that God was going to be there for her and whatever his plan may have been. It's been a hard week um, for many of us who were really close with Deborah because um, like myself I was just planning to go and visit with her and I didn't get that opportunity to get there to see her and she was really excited when I told her I was coming. I don't know uh, if the family is having a service or what kind of service plans they have um, in mind, I try, I've tried to get back with her son, Kevin, and uh, it hasn't been, I haven't been able to get a hold of him. Her son's name is also Kevin, and um, in addition to her being very good friends with Camper Van Kevin as well. So um, I did want to mention that. So I'm getting back in the car and um, heading over to stop and see another good friend here along the Arizona route as I head to Texas to Lollapalooza. And um, you know, we're gonna have a couple of movie nights probably and some great fun. And um, I'm gonna be there early so that I we can howl at the moon at the harvest full moon on October 20th, which is Danny's birthday. Her birthday, October 20th. We're going to howl at the harvest moon. Me and my baby. Me and my BFF. I hope you'll join us. Try to keep a smile on your face. If I'm falling down, I will keep on searching for my eyes. You can say I lost my mind. I will keep on holding my head high. Even the sky is falling down. Mm -hmm.